Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of the roofing tutorial. In this part we are going to talk about some interesting things other swimmers in the community thought of. Uh, we are starting with the skylights and then we are moving on to open windows, how to make an attic and the angled windows by Kate Emerald. And of course I will give credit where credit is due. The attic uh, function is made by Kate Emerald as well. And the open windows was thought of as far as I know by Eve Aveline or Eveline. Uh, in Dutch it will be called Aveline or Aveline. <laughs> Um, so, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm very, very sorry. Um, in the first part, we went over the basic keys you need to get your roofing to the next level. And in this, we're going to talk about uh, how you can use those keys. And in part 3, I will show you with your own builds how to make the roofing going to the next level with all the tips and tricks we learned from the first two parts. So we're going to start with the skylights and we're just going to make a little room here with three tiles over. Like I explained before, that's the default uh, for the default tiles for the basic uh, roof. We're using a shed roof. I'm going to turn that around and place one here there oh, i didn't put it right like that and on top of it we're going to use the a-frame roof and you see it's all matching up just make this one a bit smaller and we can drag this across to the other side of the roof and we're going to make the same sort of room here so we're going to copy Copy this one, copy that one, and now we have a hole in the middle, so to speak. And we're going to use that for our skylight. So what we're going to do first is get a shed roof again, make it into one tile, as you can see here. Trim the upper trim here with pressing just shift as I didn't do, but you will get this effect and place it on the edge of the room beneath. So just drag that across to the other side and you will see it's one fitting roof. The things aren't matching up perfectly. You can make it all so it does if you prefer that. It's, it That will go away with uh, the color you choose for your roofs. So now we have uh, still a hole in the roof and you don't want your sims to get wet when it rains or uh, your furniture of course. So what we're going to do is take another shed roof, make it into one as before. We place it on the roof we already have there. You see it pointing out to you know which roof is what. And we're going to drag that across the uh, room too. What we're going to do is make it glass. And we're just going to with shift extend that roof. So now you will see it's all glass. There's no hole, it's just glass and your sims and your furniture are covered. But you will need to trim the lowest trim so you won't get a weird thing here. And to get the shimmering gone here, you will need to lower this roof just a little bit like this. And the shimmering is gone. And you still have a perfectly roof. And you can dress it up a bit like this. And you have a skylight. And in the same time, you have an attic and you can uh, furniture it now, whatever you like, uh, put some things in it, like a bed or something or whatever you, you want to do with it, another bed and a dressing. So it's really cute and cozy, your sims have light and are protected 
by the rain and you can close it off by doing the same exact thing on this side but we're going to do some other thing is maybe your sims just want fresh air or you like how it looks then we're going to copy this so we have oh just one oh that's like this and now we have an open gap in which we're going to make the open window for that we need to place a column here for a moment so just like that i hope it's far enough just like that so it's beneath the trim we're going to put in another shed roof but on top of the pillar there and of course you want it to line up so it has to go there so now you see it's lining up with the roof and to fill in the whole gap we slide it across that side we are going to trim the upper trim but extending the lower one making it glass again and maybe a nice width white thing i hope it took and then with the moving up and down arrow and the alt or just without the alt you can make it into an open window and that's how you do that uh, you can use alt for slightly more whatever you like this is as far open as it goes and you have a nice looking out the window and you can remove the pillar and it's all staying there so don't worry about the pillar that is going to go away so just like that so these are the skylights and the open windows and the open windows are thought of by Eveline or Eveline I'm not sure how to pronounce your name correctly in Dutch is Avelina um, but she thought of this and I think it's very incredibly smart to do. The attic was thought of by Kate Emerald just to keep the space open when making your skylight like that so I think that's a genius thing as well. Uh, so we have just one thing to do and that is making angled windows which were also thought of by Kate Emerald uh, if you're not following her, you really, 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 really should. She has amazing tutorials on all different kinds of things, not just roofs, uh, but also pools and houses and all incredibly smart things. So be sure to check her out. I made everything ready for uh, how to make angled windows. And it looks a bit off, I uh, granted. But in a moment, you will see where we're going with this. You want to take the open columns. Uh, you want to keep them open because otherwise you can't place a roof in that. And uh, that is very important for the angled roofs. And below you do the same, but the other way around. As you can see here, they're open as well. So you can place a roof in them as well. So we're going to take a shed roof, of course, again, and we're placing it into that one and we're making it into one tile and of course it's sticking out right now that's not pretty so with shift just trim the side so it's aligning and you can use every kind of roof you want flat roof uh, gambrel roof a frame whatever or a shed roof whatever you like and now you're just with shift extending this roof into there and of course we have to make it glass because otherwise we won't see anything through it well it's sticking out there so trim that side as well and here you have one of the angled roofs and you can place one here it only goes so far so watch out how far you want to pull it like this it so you have to think about where you're placing the columns uh, to which you extend it so and you can place one here and of course trim that so you can have a small window or a big window and down below you can do pretty much the same just turn it around you will see there's a glass roof here glass roof there and copy this one 
as well. Turn it around. Oh, I did it in the wrong spot, so we're just extending this one and making sure that one. So you will see you have angled windows right now. Isn't that awesome? I think it's so creative. He thought of this. And what is also awesome is that it uh, also covers up the roof, uh, the room I mean. Uh, so it's still a room and your sims are sheltered from uh, wind and weather and all that kind of things. So you can use it into a real uh, roof because there are no walls as you can see. So this area is just usable and you can make it into a real room. So that's not a problem. But maybe you want to make it a little bit nicer, prettier. You can see the columns aren't closing. And that's well, annoying, or unless you like that sort of uh, art deco look, <laughs> uh, which is entirely, of course, okay. Uh, you can place a little oh, uh, fence and then it's covered up and you won't see the fence because it's this is the pillar of the roof and not of the home. So that makes it fairly easy to use. Um, and that is how you make the angled windows. So yeah, uh, there was someone that wanted to know if we could make the roofs into real windows. Well, you see it, the roofs are still uh, extended, so it doesn't make the room close, but uh, it will function as a closed room. So that is good to know when building and playing with your sims. So that was today's tutorial on Skylights, Open Windows, The Attic and Angled Windows. I will place the links to Kate Emeralds and Eveline uh, below uh, in the description of the video. And I hopefully you will stick with me for part three that is coming out, I think tomorrow. Uh, and if you haven't watched part one in which we use all the useful keys, please check that out as well. And for today, I bid you uh, goodbye and farewell, and I will see you into the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and you're awesome.